everybody. Hope everybody can hear me okay. It looks like I'm plugged in. Okay. All right. So, welcome to September 1st live birdcast for when no, we're not on Wednesday. Tuesday. <laughs> I thought it was Wednesday. Not quite. So, um, yes, exciting news this week. As you can see, there is quite a bit of migration mm -hmm. all over the place coming through Florida, coming through the East Coast. So we've got heavy, heavy migration through here, which is great. Um, here is, let's see, there was a big... There was quite a few. I think it was Sunday night. Let's see if it was Sunday night or if it was Monday. Let's see it on the... Yeah, it was. It was on Sunday. Look at this. Yes. Lots of migration coming through pretty much all over, all over. Here's some through Mexico. Quite a bit through Florida and the Eastern Seaboard. Um, this was Sunday night, I believe. And then we've got, and then we've got, um, looks like Monday. Again, quite a few coming through here on Monday. Yeah, there's a lot. They're coming all the way through Florida. So. I have seen a lot of migrants these last couple of days. Um, you probably have as well. And let's take a look at today. This looks like last night, maybe. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let's slow that down. Yep. They're coming on down. So, so this is good. We're seeing quite a bit going on. Um, quite a bit of migration coming through. And you can stop fake getting Facebook notifications. <laughs> there we go. Um, yep, so quite a bit of activity. Um, and it shows uh, from what I've seen, I've seen quite a bit of activity in the forests and the, in the hardwood hammocks and all of that all around. So let's take a look at eBird this week. Um, let's see what we've got for Monroe County. Let's see what kind of sightings we found that are up from out of area. So we've got gray king birds are still around. Wide-eyed vireo. I did see a couple of wide-eyed vireos the last couple of days. Barn swallows are heavy in Miami-Dade County right now and all throughout Florida. And we're starting to see them in Monroe County in the Keys. So these are gonna increase through September um, and we're gonna see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot through September. So they're going to come through. Um, so they're on their way. Let's see the date. Okay, yes, yeah, August 31st. So, um, yeah, barn swallows, blue gray gnat catchers, lots of these the last couple of days. Oven bird, I did see an oven bird. I did get some pictures, so I'll show you guys that. Ooh, somebody saw a worm eating warbler. This is what a worm eating warbler looks like. I have not seen one of these yet, but this is what they look like. So be on the lookout for these guys. <clears throat> they kind of look like the, um, the, the black whiskered or the red eyed vireo a little bit, but it's different. See, it has a little striping, but it doesn't have a red eye and it doesn't have this like the little masky thing that the vireos have. So it's, it's different. Um, but yeah, be on the lookout for these. I'm hoping to find one of these this year for fall migration. So we'll see. We'll find out what we see. Um, where were we? Okay, yes. Oh, northern water thrush. Ooh, I have not seen one of these, but somebody saw one. So this is cool and exciting. So maybe we'll see some of these. And black and white warbler, oh, there we are. I have seen many black and white warblers. I have seen American red starts. I have not seen a northern parula yet around, but I have seen them in the past, so I'm sure that we will be seeing these soon. Um, prairie warblers, I have seen a lot of those coming through lately. 
and let's see what else we have prothonic pro prothonitary pro i can't ever say the word prothonitary warbler these are so pretty i would love to see one of these i have not ever seen one in person but these are so cool so hopefully we'll see one of these and what else do we have um what else is from out of area these are leaving soon black face grass keep bank swallow barn swallow cave swallow chimney swift these are all on their way and they have been seen around let's see anything else and we're going a little bit far back to my oh swallowtail kites of course we're gonna see these soon and we probably should actually know we should be seeing these now so these are around so be on the lookout for these these are pretty cool and they're hard to miss I mean they don't really look like any other bird flying in the air so except maybe a maybe a magnificent frigate but these have the white on the body and the frigates don't have the white all that white they have a little bit but not that much so yep so we're going back kind of far now so let's see yeah we're back a little bit farther okay all right so that's what's been spotted in monroe county out of area this week let's take a look at my sightings okay so cool crab spider in a web lots of webs lots of cool stuff a lot of butterflies and moths out still it's a good time of year spring and fall to see moths and butterflies this is a fresh um what is it called from the jamaican dogwood trees it's like a fresh um, stem kind of growing out i thought it looked cool i'm not sure what these are but i thought they looked neat and pretty little wildflower and we've got a mockingbird in the royal plain sienna okay my friend the yellow-billed cuckoo i have seen this guy around a lot lately you can't see him well in these pictures so you can kind of sort of see him here but he was up high so you can kind of see his long tail um, but he's pretty cool he's still around this is my friend the cuban anole he has been around a lot lately too this is him flaring his dewlap at me and he was bobbing his head up and down letting me know that this is his turf <laughs> so a lot of cool spider webs the cool green iguana is hanging out um, we've got a or weaver spider it looks like he's getting ready to eat something here I'm not sure um, what he's eating maybe maybe a moth or something flew in there but it looks pretty neat um, and then looks like some yellow stuff on his web today this guy has been around for a couple of weeks in the same spot with his big old web I don't know every time I see him I just think he looks cool this big orb weaver and okay so this this is cool I need to report this on eBird because I didn't see that anybody else had reported this guy let's see some of the pictures are not great and some of them are decent but you can tell what it is let's see let's see if there's anything on here nope I don't think I don't believe anybody has spotted one let's see and it's taking forever to load so we'll go back to it this is actually a female hooded warbler I have never seen one of these this was my first time I had to really figure out and identify what it was and I'll tell you how I identified it let's let me show you what it actually looks like and this is on allaboutbirds.org this is a good resource for you guys this is a hooded warbler <coughs> okay all right this is the male okay the male has this little hood here and we're going to do an ID and we'll listen to the sound later okay this is the female this is what I saw female or an immature male um, this is see how it looks similar you see the little hood 
right here and then the white spot on the tail see that right there and then you see the very faint hood right there and that looks like a male a male see this is see this looks very similar to the one that I have here so you see it right here this is a hooded warbler I have a little bit better shots in a little bit okay this is my friend the white-eyed vireo he runs away from me all the time <laughs> not a great shot but you can kind of see them here I feel like he has a little like a little yellow unibrow that's what they look like they have they look so silly um, and you can see the white the ring around his eyes and on this picture but they do have a white eye the eye is very bright it's really yeah blurry he, he wasn't the place where I go to find these it, it's very the brush is very thick so when they get really get in there it's really hard to get your camera to focus so so we got a lot of these wide-eyed vireos black and white warblers lots and lots of black and white warblers um, this guy actually finally got good photos of it which is great yay see it's a nice one they're not in their breeding colors right now so they look a little bit different I'll show you what they look like in breeding plumage in the fall you're gonna see birds a lot more drab because they're not in their breeding plumage so black black and white warbler and we're gonna go to ID so we're gonna look at an adult male in breeding okay so you can see the difference here this might be a female or it might just be a male non-breeding yeah see it's a lot more drab lose a lot of its bright black and white colors you see this one here yeah immature female this looks a little bit more like mine and this is a adult male yeah, they do act like a nut hatch. <laughs> that's what it says. They do the way that they are. Yeah, so you can kind of see the difference. You know, right now they're not going to be in that plumage. So this is the hooded warbler again. I got a little bit better shot here. You can see this right here, the hood for the hooded warbler. This is probably either, yep, yeah, right down here. And this one I found it on the ground down here, you know, and low to mid mid to low forest um, area I would say and you can kind of see it you know a little bit better but it's mostly yellow all throughout the underbelly and through here and then it's got that olive almost colored hood but if it was a male it would have a black hood all around and then the white undertail okay you see this one here that's the same this is the hooded warbler and you can tell the difference between the hooded and the prairie because the prairie has a striping um, below so it's not a prairie and it's not a common yellow throat either see I had to look I, I really had to to take a look it was difficult um, when I was trying to identify it but it, it took me a, a bit because even look at the common yellow throat you can tell when you're trying to identify them that it's it's different so like this is a male, obviously it doesn't have a black mask, but the female, you could mistake it, you know, but you see how it only has the throat yellow, not the whole underbelly, only the throat like here in the chest. So it's not, um, it's the, and it's got the yellow back here as well. So it's definitely not it was definitely not a see definitely not a common yellow throat even though see you might mistake it but look under here right and then if you look at another one that's similar at first I also thought I said oh maybe it's a female prairie warbler prairie oh my lord if I can spell Prairie warbler, fairy, oh, prairie chicken. 
No, we don't want the prairie chicken. Okay. Prairie warbler. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> okay, so female or immature. We're going to take a look at this one. Now see how this one has the yellow belly and it almost looks... You could confuse it, but see this one has a striping. It has a striping there, a little tiger stripe. That's a male. That's a brighter black and white and this is a female. More drab on the top and then the brighter yellow, but it has a striping. So you can tell that this is not, um, this is not a prairie warbler either because there's no striping here. So you can tell since in the white tail under, it, it's got to be a hooded warbler. So when you identify um, birds and warblers and things like that, look for those kind of things because you can see the undertail colors and, you know, there's details like that that you can use to, um, to identify them. So yeah, I got a lot of shots of it. Tried to get as many, but meh, they were like, eh, not that great. Um, black and white warbler, lots of shots of this guy. Very cool. That one I like. I like, I like that one a lot. That one was cute. I like this one as well. I was happy with those. This is cool. This is this tree snail. You don't see these a lot, but this is pretty neat. A big tree snail. And I saw an oven bird. That was really cool. This guy, um, this is an oven bird. The shots are a little bit dark because um, he was in the brush. I had went into the <laughs> into the forest to get shots of this guy because he was calling really, really loud and he was like, rah, rah, rah. he was just going off. And so I was like, what is back there? So I went back there looking for um, this guy and I found him. So I took like a million. There we go. Those are a little bit better. Oh, you see his little crest. He's got a little orange crest. If you never knew that, these guys have that. And so he was pretty cool. So um, I didn't, I didn't see these until probably October last year. So I feel like, I just feel like migration is early this year. We'll talk about what I do documented for September last year. And it's really nothing compared to what I've already got for this year <laughs> in August. So, um, it's pretty exciting. <clears throat> so this was cool. This was a really cool find. Um, you might look at this and think it's a gray kingbird, but it's not. This is a, an eastern kingbird. This is him coughing up a pellet. This is interesting. I didn't know until yesterday that kingbirds cough up pellets, like owls and other birds of prey and other kinds of birds. Apparently herons and wading birds also cough up pellets. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, he was just, yeah, he was doing that. <laughs> it was kind of gross, but, um, but pretty cool. Um, so you can see, I'm going to show you the difference when I find one, but this, um, Eastern Kingbird, it's very dark on top. You can see the head is very dark, um, almost like a black charcoal color and it's got, <coughs> sorry guys. Okay. And he's got, um, the darker wings and he's got a very bright white underbelly. Now, I have one for reference of the gray kingbird coming soon. This is the eastern. There was quite a few yesterday, so it must have been a flock because I found a lot. You see, here's one. Here is the eastern kingbird, and here is the gray kingbird. So you can really see the difference here. So you can see that the gray kingbird has this little tiny eye mask, and then it's got mostly gray on top, and then is a little bit more off-white here, like a, they even have a little bit of yellow under their wing. Um, when they fly, you can really see it. So the gray kingbird, it looks, maybe just at a glance, it looks the same, but um, it looks a lot different than the eastern kingbird. And you see he's got the black cap up here. So, and he's even brighter white underneath. So they look a lot different. See, they, you can see the gray and the eastern here. Okay, so here's more. See the gray kingbird, the eastern kingbird. I took pictures of both of them for reference so you could really see the difference really well. This is the gray, and even the bill looks different with the gray kingbird than the eastern kingbird. The bill looks smaller, 
and his bill looks larger to me. So um, you can really, you can really tell. See, there were a lot of them. <clears throat> there were quite a few around yesterday. As you can see, I took a bunch of pictures because I've only seen this guy one other time in my life and it was in the Everglades. I've never seen him here in the Keys. I definitely did not see any migrating through last year. So this was really cool and exciting to see these guys. Here's the gray and here's the Eastern. So it's cool. It's like a black, like, I don't know, like a charcoal black color and very bright white. They look really pretty. Oh, there he goes. He's about to cough up a pellet. <laughs> there goes another one. Oh, you see that? Oh, he's like getting, there it goes. Yeah, that was pretty gross. <laughs> Here's the gray. <coughs> okay. Um, so we have a green iguana. You can see that little fat belly under there. <laughs> he looks so cute. He's had a full dinner already. Oh yeah, look at that fat belly. Nice and healthy. And here's a red-shouldered hawk I saw yesterday. He was cool. He didn't like that I was there. He was yelling at me, but you know, I was walking through the area. <laughs> he started yelling at me. And there he goes. Bye-bye. He was gone. Um, yep, more black and white warblers. So many of these. This is cool spider webs in the sun. I just, I don't know why, I just like this. I think it's cool. It looks so pretty. A little squirrel friend today. And um, a lot of blue gray gnat catchers. I saw this guy just all over the place today. This was in the afternoon. Um, yeah, there's a lot of these around. Oh, more spider webs. <laughs> and here's a vireo. This guy has what we can call duck butt. <laughs> He's lost his tail feathers, so he just looks like a little duck. <laughs> so yeah, this guy, um, the white-eyed vireo, same guy I think that lives in the forest. Um, but he was hanging around this afternoon as well. Blurry pictures. This is a, uh, not a scissor tail fly catcher, great, crest, great crested fly catcher. You can see the yellow belly and the gray top, and then he's got a little bit of orange in the tail, but you can't really see him very well here. He didn't come out far enough for me to be able to see. But these are around. These are around all the time, but you really don't see them um, everywhere. But they have a really unique call. We'll play it in a little bit. Pretty dragonfly, spiderwebs, and black and white warbler. Yep, and that's about it. <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. Take a look at this. Oh, wait. Was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. No. I thought that was the one. I got a video of it coughing up a pellet. <laughs> Not that you want to see that. Um, okay, so let's go to screen share. Let's see. Okay. Let me get rid of that. Sharing. There we are. Okay. All right. So we've got. Let's move it on down. <clears throat> okay. So here's a great crested flycatcher. Let's listen to the call. If it will come up. Screen share. There we are. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You really couldn't see it that well in my picture, but you can see here, you see that orangey under tail color, and then it's got the pretty yellow and the little crest and the gray. So you've probably seen these around a lot. Um, you will see these throughout the Keys and the Everglades, but they have a really cool sound. I want to Hold on, that's not it. That's one of the sounds. That's not the one I'm thinking of. That's not the one I'm thinking of either. That's the one.
It's almost like a whoop. <laughs> yeah, so that one is really cool. Um, let's see. Oh, Eastern Kingbird. Let's see what these sound like. This this is the one that I saw yesterday. I saw quite a few of them. See with that dark, darker colored cap on its head. So they don't sound like the gray kingbird. They sound different. See, they sound very different. See, a little bit, a little bit like the gray. I know you've been hearing the gray around all the time. You heard us just play the gray. Oh, yep, that's the one. I hear it every morning. <laughs> every morning. I know you hear that when you wake up and you go outside. All day long. Yep. All the time I hear these. All summer long. When you don't hear it anymore, you know the summer is ending. Yep. So, gray kingbirds are going to leave soon. They are heading to South America. It looks like for breeding is the blue. <coughs> and they're heading to the Caribbean and South America. So, gray kingbirds are leaving soon. Um, Eastern kingbirds. Let's go to the map. This is the Merlin app, in case you're not sure. Uh, this is the one I like to use, it's a good app. Um, so yep, these are here right now for breeding, the Eastern Kingbird, and they're heading down to South America. So these are also leaving soon. And let's see, the White-Eyed Vireo, did we? Oh, I think we played the sound last week, but let's hear it again. Yeah, because I said it sounded like the gnat catcher. Yep. I hear this. I hear this sometimes. The first time I heard it, I said, oh my gosh, what is that? What is that bird? Um, and then I figured out what it was, obviously. So it was a white-eyed vireo. Okay, so we saw an oven bird. Let's hear what, oh, <laughs> let's see. So you can hear what I was hearing yesterday. No, this is not it. This is a nice song. I hear people up north playing this. This is a nice song that it has. I haven't heard that one. This this one I heard yesterday. Was, that's not the one I heard. No. Now what I heard was like an alarm call. <laughs> it wasn't any of that. So, so somebody saw a worm-eating warbler. I have not seen these, but somebody saw them. Here's their range. They're here only through migration, and so they're headed to the Caribbean and South America. Let's hear what they sound like. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Oops, I stuck. Hmm. Nice. And I think somebody also saw a northern water thrush. These are also migrating through, but if you look very closely, it says that there are some that stick around in the very southern tip of South Florida in the Keys. So it's possible you could see one stay for the winter. So let's see what they sound like. Mm, that's nice. That's a nice call. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds similar to a lot of other warblers. Okay, so, oh, this is one I want to see, the Black Burnian Warbler. I've never seen one of these. I would love to see one of these. It says that they pass through during migration, so I have not seen one. But look how pretty. They're like this orangey-yellow color. Very cool. Very cool warbler. I would love to see one like this. Maybe someday, maybe this year, who knows? <laughs> so, 
Um, <clears throat> let's see if there was one more that we were going to listen to. Hummingbirds look like they're on their way. And it looks like they're coming soon. Yep, see, they stay. They do stay through here, um, through winter. So you should see some hummingbirds soon. It looks like they're just coming in, according to the map, and it's going to get heavier throughout the, um, the rest of the week. So, or not the rest of the week, <laughs> the rest of the season. Oh, Lord. Anyway. Okay, guys. Well, that's about it for today. Um, we'll go back to the migration map. So let's see what we see this week. Be sure to post all your finds. I want to see what you guys are finding um, in different keys, whether it's upper keys or lower keys or middle keys or whatever. And um, we'll go over it next week and I'll show you what I found. So everybody have a great day or evening and that is it. Bye!